it, it looked a bit weird at first. I was just surprised to see a women dancing in a museum. We're here showcasing our research on dance science and we're looking at the physiology of salsa dancing. We are looking at the effects of salsa as a form of exercise, working out the energy expenditure that would be used during a salsa class so that maybe it could be used as a form of somebody's physical activity and also for clinical conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis. One of the reasons we're investigating this kind of an activity is to try to get more people active in pursuits that they may not perceive to be as traditional forms of exercise. One of the reasons we wanted to look specifically at salsa dancing is because it's a social dance. I especially dance salsa when I'm in a club or something. I, I've done salsa in the past, but yeah, it's reminding me of the good of it, yeah. We use a portable metabolic system and it measures the amount of oxygen that you require. From the um, oxygen exchange that we take in and the carbon dioxide that we give out, we're able to calculate how many calories the person has burnt during a salsa session. One of the devices that we use is a traxial accelerometer and just attaches to the wrist. From this device and a heart rate monitor around the chest, uh, we should be able to get very precise and accurate measurements of uh, people when they go out salsa dancing in a real environment. Salsa is a, is a continuous activity, so once you start dancing and the song is going, you're moving to the rhythm, you don't actually stop. It's an intensity of about six mets, so it's kind of a, a fast walk, slow jog. I think it's an interesting way to measure, like compared to other exercises like jogging and things, because you wouldn't actually realize how much salsa does for you. We love salsa dancing. We love salsa dancing. Most people do salsa to learn the dance or just for the social interaction that you would get. And now it's opening up people's eyes to see, actually, if I took up salsa or a form of dance, I could use this as a way of doing physical activity instead of maybe structured exercise such as running. Because some people don't like structured exercises. I'm a sport teacher and uh, the, this research uh, interests me a lot. I think this experiment is very good. Because some people, yeah, really, they find it hard to exercise, so at least it's fun and they're exercising at the same time. It is quite fun, it is quite fun. Yeah, and it, maybe it might interest me in the future. <laughs> I, I want to do this tomorrow. I want to come here tomorrow.